Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. Ada, not feeling it today, because uh, we had a conversation with the adjutant of the chairman. I think that's we how it... We successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? No, you can congrat... If you don't mind my saying, Captain... Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Minister Clark, huh? What do you mean? Welcome back, Captain. How Pl can I be of assistance? Please have a conversation about it. Please? Oh, dang it. Come on, developers. See you soon, Captain. See you soon, Ada. So we're... We have a... A lot of pieces on the board right now. Um, we have Phineas, for sure. Our longest known hero, let's put it like that, or piece in the board, or protagonist, or whatever. We have uh, the chairman, and which is more, not really the chairman, but it's it's just more of a representative of the H HC, as well as his adju adjutant. Uh, although they might not be, they might not have the same objectives in mind. We have huh, all the little towns working by themselves, trying to solve their thing. Uh, I'm thinking of Sanjar, who's dead, um, and uh, the other one who's also dead. <laughs> but uh, but certainly the people at Edgewater and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, Minister Clark as well, who is from... Which, who is sort of from inside the board, but not really. Hmm. Let's see where this is going. I... I believe this is... Endgame stuff. Let's find out. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you weren't with me. They are. Hey, Phineas. Uh, I think I know what that is for. Find Wells' communication terminal and send a tracking signal. No, I won't do that. I'll do this one. However, I will go in there. I just quick saved. Nah. Not even a secondary option for us to send them a... Not send or jam the thing or something. Hey. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Yeah. I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are all the chemicals I could get. Any more and I would have killed the subjects. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. The colony is on the verge of collapse. The board has been trying to cover it up. I know! I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. That's not the text of uh, what I read. Although it could be a story that is being told here. And I wish it were the story that was being told here, because it would make a lot more sense and it would go in, in in line with the themes that have been put forth from the beginning of the game. But the reason the board is collapsing, it isn't because of the mismanagement. Although, there is a case to be made that it is, even though it is about malnutrition. It is more about... Uh, the thing is, the malnutrition isn't the cause of anything the board did. It's just the thing. It's just a reality. Which, 
makes it not an an analogy for um, real life counterparts for this whole scenario that we have, including things like climate change, for example, or just the collapse of economic systems around the world. Um, but um, which in real life would be the consequence of uh, the systems that exist. Um, but here it isn't. It's just a reality. It's just a, an unavoidable thing that no matter who comes out on top, the board or whoever wants to take over them or take them down, uh, we're going to have to deal with it. It gets worse, Phineas. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Yep. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? Yep. The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Oh, that's more direct than... I thought they were just not going to be revived because... Okay, that's a lot more direct than uh, what I thought. Huh. Okay, what options do we have? We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. That's number one. Number two is, so that's it. We just give up. All that trouble I went through for nothing. Okay, Doomer. This uh, colony's a mess, no, uh, option number three. I'll be glad to put it behind me as soon as I get a chance. Uh, yeah, well... Let's go the first one, <laughs> I suppose. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Not short of that. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, are eh. corrupted by the board. Eh. The board's that doesn't matter. dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. I don't know the, that the game is going to make the point for me, so I'm going to make the point right now. Do you know what is in the board? The people who are in the board? In the board. In the hope? They're people. They're people. We can't... We can't pin our hopes on them to be, like, better than everybody else. There is something to be said about, you know, having grown up in Halcyon and, and just thinking the way people think when they grow up in Halcyon. Parvati is a perfect example with that. We live in a society, after all, and they live in a society, the characters in this in this game. But there's nothing telling me that Earth wasn't exactly like what Halcyon is. There's nothing telling me that the people who live in the board aren't themselves, for lack of a better term, or a better saying, the product of a society. There's a way, Phineas. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us, skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged, we'll have to route power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me. I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? 
You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the Unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Wait, I got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this, right? Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the Rings of Terror 2. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terror 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice. Possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna make a joke if you weren't gonna say, because I, 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 I'm just listening to what he's saying, not reading ahead. Um, and yes, that was a good line. I like it, Phineas. Good job. No more questions. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. I have different motivations, but Phineas... Sure. The adjutant asked me to uh, plant a tracking signal in your lab, by the way, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. Do I can't tell if you're being sarcastic? <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. True. It's true. It's true. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. Let me just put my gl hacking glasses on and I'll be sure to corrupt it good, I will. Um, you're sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Actually... Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. It's actually something the game should have brought up already. Is uh, Ada should have gone. There was somebody trying to plant a tracking device on the ship. I murdered them in the face with my weapons. I did, or something, because uh, that would be the easiest one, just to track where my ship goes, and they, then they would find where I go. Also, it's space. It's easy. Well, the jumps. No, we don't. We are not jumping. It's easy to see where my ship is going. Uh, so they could just look. <laughs> she could just put eyes on me and be like, hmm, he's going over there. Or she's going over there. Um, Alex. Uh, I want to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? That's all for now. Level ups. And Ellie leveled up. So many level ups in Parvati, of course. Uh, when this companion takes damage, they gain armor for a short time. Sure. Lovely. That's good. Tier 5 are all the same. Yeah. I think Tier 4 and Tier 5 are all the same. Um, so our hacking is good to go. Our lie... Might not be. Our engineering. What? 
Really? Ellie and Barvati are my best friends for engineering. Good job. No wrong. Well, I didn't catch that. I don't know what you were saying. I'm very sorry. I also have a perk, which is good, I suppose. Um, so we were... When you're low health, you'll increase, increase damage whenever you're affected by a harmful combat effect, you uh, do something. When you activate, you continue to move with normal speed, QTT or whatever, TTD, sure. After killing an enemy, your weapon sway in, uh, movement penalty for accuracy, doesn't matter. Sense weapon damage, what else do we have? Restore some health whenever you kill an enemy, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. I wish the perk system was better. I really do. I really do. But then again, the system is not turn-based, so you can't have good things without turn-based, as is well known. So, send corrupted tracking signal. Actually, just in case the game does a passive check that doesn't allow me to see, let's send a corrupting tracking signal. Installing surveillance tracking signal and relay. Running cacophony protocol. Replicating artificial interfer interference, modifying signal noise radio, establishing connection error. Signal status weak. Board surveillance protocol failed. Signal fidelity has been compromised. This terminal will attempt to reestablish a new connection once every cycle. Ah, oh, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. Did I? Should I talk to you again? I won't wish you luck on the hope. Can't rely on luck. Rigorous calculations and sound logic. That's the ticket. And saves coming as well. What's on your mind? You just press F5 a bunch. I mean, not a bunch. Often enough. Like that. And we're good. Uh, what do I need to do? Return to Ada, for sure. Travel to the Hope. Well, we're gonna return to Ada. Probably just have the conversation that um, we had at the end of last episode? Was that how it worked? I think so. I also need to repair my stuff just in case we're gonna get any more high level stuff. I actually will use my a lot of bits to increase my assault rifle. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. For sure they are. Tinker with that. Twenty nine thousand. Talk about being too expensive. <laughs> and the next one was fifty two thousand. Incredible. But I think that's the last upgrades that were Max. Maximilian. You got a second? Vicar. Really? Vicky. You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Not bad, Felix. Our adventure serial is gonna need a name too. And don't you dare say the Outer Worlds. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Yeah. Alliteration is always a fun time. <laughs> the Adventures of Alex and Company. <laughs> uh, boy. How about this one? Felix's Adventures in... Oh, no. <laughs> Not that one. Um, I'm glad you're having fun, but we've got a job to do. Yeah, we got a job to do. We're hijacking a lost colony ship and slamming it right into the rings of Terra 2. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait. I like your attitude, Felix. Enough to boost my pay? Eh, I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. Yeah. I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. Maybe it will have cameras, I mean. 
I wonder if Parvati had a, a similar conversation for me. Ankles. No, she's running away. Ada. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Yeah, you're not- Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. You're not gonna like what's coming up next. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Really? Byzantium's a big place? Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? I thought it was a message. You said I had a message, and apparently it was a call. Oh, not not to the Hope. Uh, Terra 2. No, no. Need to have that. Hope, oh. Adjutant to Candace's landing pad. Let's go ahead and do that. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. We're really not in orbit. We're landing, or we're landed, I think. Okay, I'm gonna keep my hacking goggles on, just in case I need to hack her face or something. Talk about a different environment here. Huh. No experience for this workbench. Our UDL security attendant is always prepared. Sure. Very austere. I like it. I mean, considering the circumstances, I mean. Not so fast. I can't walk. That's not a feature in this game. All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. Okay. We might not come out of here alive. Or out of here. I don't know what this is. Point of interest discovered. You know, one thing I'll say, this ending structure... It's feeling very much like Fallout 1. Which it should, because this is basically Fallout... Fallout. Except... With completely different gameplay mechanics, themes, and... Uh, and... Um, and tone. Although the tone is not that different from Fallout. Wait. We're here again! Hi. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Hmm. What's going to happen to Wells? The signal you sent us is experiencing some interference. My agents will need time to isolate the problem. We're going to monitor Wells until we're ready to make a move. I asked you here to discuss something far more important. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society. Followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. 
I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhill, but I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more, and nothing less. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. Well, at least we have a freaking connection to the beginning of the game. Whew, I just didn't see it. I forgot about the plague, actually. But Parvati is here to rescue. <laughs> the uh, It's not really the pacing, but the thorough line of the, the storyline. But we're out of time for the day, so she's not here to rescue that. She'll be here next episode. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Outer Worlds. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. I'm saying next episode a lot in this outro. Bye-bye.